the goal here is to present you into the module um, two factor plus provision. So here, from raw to data in action. So the goal is to do things quickly, uh, not in months, not wait six months to do a churn analysis or a prediction, okay? And we will demonstrate you and show you, explain you how to factor and prevision, uh, extract v value, okay, uh, quickly uh, together. So the uh, easy at first, but at the end it's very complicated, okay? Because you go from raw data. You have some data coming from everywhere in every structure, okay? So what you need to do in general, you, are, you need to discover the data, quality of your data, structure, you need to clean it, you need to regulate it. That means that you need to prepare the data, you need to do uh, prediction, and uh, predictive analytics to do action, okay? So it's complex, slow, and costly. So the goal here with the two uh, software, TriFactor and Prevision, is to reduce this time to discover, prepare, and do predictive analytics. Okay, so we'll show you that. So we provide software for sales service, we can say, okay, to accelerate data preparation and data analytics. So to boost machine learning, to do better and uh, more machine learning and data analytics. So uh, first, let's begin. I will, I will explain TriFactor, uh, then Jerome will explain Prevision, and then we will do uh, the demo, okay? So TriFactor, data wrangling company, what we are doing. Before any analytic process, predictive, BI, data viz, you need to prepare the data. And in general, it's 50 or 80% of your time to prepare the data. So data wrangling is this activity from your question to the analytic. In general, you, you have to do that. Every, everybody is doing that. You need to discover structure, okay, discover the quality, structure, get data from unstructured, from log, from JSON, XML, etc. Clean the data, enrich, do the lookup, the join, the aggregate, the pivot, etc. And validate and publish the data, clean, ready for analytic, ready for provision, for example. Okay? So TriFactor is a platform on promise. Okay, you install on top of Hadoop, on top of Big Data Cluster. The goal is self-service access for business analysts. So for business analysts, data analysts, data scientists, people, they want by themselves access the data without the need of IT, without the need to do coding. Because in general, to prepare the data, you do Python, SQL, script, etc. The goal is IT controls the data, IT store, secure the data, okay. But business analysts, data analysts, they need to explore, structure, clean, enrich, validate the data by themselves with a clean interface. You will see that in the demo. And the goal is to do BI, reporting, uh, data viz, data scientists, etc., etc. Okay? So you will see that in the demo, but we provide an interface, a solution, very visual, interactive. So in a very uh, easy way, you clean your data, you see your data, you explore your data. You will, you will automatically, uh, we will propose you transformation. You select, we'll propose you how to pivot, clean, uh, enrich, aggregate your data. And all this stuff is uh, native on Hadoop, native on Big Data Platform. It's not all old technology uh, now in Hadoop. We born on Hadoop, okay? So we directly integrated into the Hadoop ecosystem with all the distribution, Spark, etc. You will see that in the demo. So I give. Thank you. So after that comes Provision.io. So once the data is prepared with TriFactor, for example, uh, we've built the Provision.io platform that can take uh, any type of data from any domain and uh, in just a few clicks start building uh, predictive models. So we can use time series, we can use images, we can use text, data from product to pro produced from by machines in uh, factories and the kind, and uh, build machine learning models and, develop and deploy it into your infrastructure so that you can start uh, creating smart applications. Uh, so all of that is built around a fully automated pipeline. So once we take the data's input, uh, the platform is gonna build, build by itself. Uh, it's gonna train the, model, train the models, uh, select them, optimize them, uh, eventually blend them to, to create the, the best performance model, and then automatically deploy it into your infrastructure, either our own uh, cluster or if it's installed at the client's on-premise, the client system. The, once, the, once the models are built, uh, we can interface really easily with a lot of tools. Uh, either your favorite dashboard, so you can uh, visualize the predictions. Uh, you, we, you can, we can also interface with a chatbot, so that, for example, you can ask directly to create a model and ask him uh, when will this customer churn, why he's going to churn, etc. 
So, and you can also integrate with your own uh, apps that exist in your, in, in your um, enterprise uh, to create automated uh, decision systems. So we're going to go to the demo now. I'll let you... Okay, so just to introduce a demo, a slide, and after uh, perhaps the next slide would be easier uh, to explain, but here, it's a customer chain analysis. It could be IoT, uh, maintenance predictive, it can be anything, okay? The goal here, you have different kind of data, structure, unstructured, it can be data coming from log file, coming from uh, JSON, from Twitter, uh, etc. So here we have some data, structure, okay? I, I will show you different things. Uh, Everything is stored in a Hadoop platform somewhere, and you need to prepare the data with Refactor, and after automatically you can do modeling with Previsio. So we will show you the two step, preparing the data from diff different data sets, okay, and then do the prediction with Previsio. Okay, so let's switch. Okay, yeah. Okay, so I will try like this. I think it's okay. So, uh, okay, so Trifacta web interface. This application is uh, connected, is installed into your cluster. So you will be able to connect to quickly. I will show you something. So here you have your data set. So you can connect to, I don't know, to upload your data to HDFS, to S3, to Hive, etc. Good. Now I have here already what we call a flow. Okay. A flow is a, a, a set of transformation of a set of data. So I have some clean data, okay, churn data, okay. I have some data coming from the promotion and data coming from the satisfaction, client sa satisfaction. I have already did a few steps, but here I need to enrich the churn data with promotion with satisfaction, okay? So let's see the uh, satisfaction data set. So Trifacta takes any kind of data, and first we, we try to uh, analyze the, the format. Here is very simple, okay, so I have a date, a number, and uh, a phone number, okay, a date, yeah. So what I want to do for provision, I need to aggregate by phone number, and I want to compute some uh, new feature, new fu function. So for example here, Trifacta, so we automatically get the type, very simple, you can change it. You can go in details to see the details, okay, distribution, okay, some information about your statistic, number by month, etc. So I go quick, quickly on this. Now I want to do aggregation. What I can do here, I can do, okay, I want to aggregate here, so you can clean the data, you can aggregate, you can pivot, unpivot, etc. I want to create a new table. I can create new new column, but here, new table, okay? So I want a group by, okay, by phone number, right? I want to count the number of people, but I want also what? I want the max, the max. As you can see, where is the max? Yeah, I want the max date, okay? The max, uh, this is a call date, sorry, yeah? Call date, right? Uh, I want also uh, the average of the duration. So normally I have average function, okay? Average, okay? And quickly I will have my results, okay? Great. So here I have some information. I, I can also easily clean my data. For example, uh, here, if I go back to my churn train, here, for example, I have some mismatch. Okay, so here. I have some data. Here, I have a lot of things is mismatch because it's an integer, okay? So either to clean it, I can change it as a decimal, okay? Automatically, you have a script. You can come back, you can edit, okay? You can play with it. Or what you can do, you can directly uh, remove this. So if you select the decimal part, three factors suggest transformation. Oh yes, I want to replace everything after the, the point and the digit, I want to replace this by nothing, okay? So here, I did that. Or you can also, I don't know, you can decide to put everything to change the type, okay? So it's really interactive. Now, I have this. I come back, so I come back from the beginning, I come back from this step, etc. I can do a join. I will join my data from the other data set, okay, quickly. My data I just prepared before, satisfaction. Okay, I will find automatically the, the column for the join, and automatically, yeah, 
I can do different types of join, I can do fuzzy join, what we can call fuzzy join, etc. Okay. So I will check everything. So now here I have a data set with a join on promotion but also on satisfaction. Okay. So here this is now my full workflow. Now I can apply this at scale, okay, on 100 gigabyte, one terabyte. If I do one job, either it's run in memory in two refactor server, either we are automatically creating Spark job. Automatically, we will create here data in HDFS, in CSV, Avro, Parquet, etc. Okay, directly we will, we will run the model. The result is what? The result, so here I can see the result already done. So the result is at scale on new gigabyte, on new terabyte of data, I don't care. Here you will have the, the profiling of your data, of your clean data, prepare, join, aggregate, pivoted, extract, okay? So here you have a view, you can come back to continue to work on your data, or you can export your result, it's already in HDFS, you can download the result, or you can publish the result in Hive, okay? So at this stage, I can download the result, for example, or let the result in Hadoop and give the hand to provision to do the prediction, to do the, uh, the advanced analytic. Uh, yeah. Okay, so now that we've got the data prepared, we can import it into the provision.io platform. So as you'll see, it's very simple. So we're go we, have, uh, we have a dashboard with all the, all the models that we, uh, we, we trained before, but we're gonna train a new one. So uh, it's about churn and we're at Vivatex. So this is gonna be it. This is just the name of the, pro of the project. Uh, we're going to upload the data that was just prepared by Trifactor. Uh, so it is. Uh, what we need to do, so we want to predict whether or not a customer will churn. Those are uh, telecom customers, so they're grouped by phone numbers. So each individual customer is represented by a phone number. So this is the ID column. Uh, then the, the target column is called label. Label is either true or false, and it is, it, it is whether the client uh, already broke this contract or not. So it's th this, is, this data is in the past and we're going to try to, to predict what's going to happen in the future. So it's a classification task. It could be regression where we want to predict the quantity or multi-classification and there was more, more class than just two. So we're going to choose classification and the default metric is usually the best to use. It's the statistically the, be the, the best, but for the demo I'm going to use the error rate. So just whether or not the, the model make errors. And that's pretty much done. We can just do train models. The, the data set is going to go into the platform uh, and the platform is going to start working. So right now it's processing. It's uh, looking at the data, uh, figuring out how to best represent the, how to best represent the variables, maybe create new ones, uh, figure out what type of algorithm can use. So if we go to the dashboard, we can see that we have a new job that's running. And uh, the platform basically is going to keep uh, creating new models until it, find the, it finds the best combination. So now it's still calculating. It's the, I think the Wi-Fi is a bit slow, so it's going to come soon. Basically, we can see the different steps here that are going on the platform. So right now it's working on feature engineering. So maybe uh, some text features is creating some new way to present them, uh, doing text analysis on this kind of thing. Uh, once this is once this is done, it's gonna start building the models. Here, so okay, we are, we already have five. You already trained five different predictive models, and uh, is aggregate, aggregating them so that it finds the best uh, the best performance. So just just as in Trifactor, we can there's a small data visualization panel where we can um, see our different variables and check that the, everything has been processed smoothly. Uh, there's, uh, once the models have been trained, we can, uh, the platform can determine which uh, variables were the most important in the, uh, which contain the most information uh, to, to create the models. So those are different things. This is the, the number of minutes that the customers used during the day, during the night, uh, the day since the last call. This is just a, a global uh, feature importance that quantify what variables are important for the model. Uh, we can see then this is a, a more advanced, uh, a fine, fine grain analysis of the of the model performance. So for the, those who know, it's a ROC curve. It's, it's um, it quantifies with the, the number of true positive and true negatives in the model, and you can see all the performance of your model to know how it's going to perform in uh, in real life. So. 
this is one step. We have, we, we have built machine learning models. It's uh, useful, but we need to go one step further and try to understand what, uh, first of all, which customers are going to go, because this is the, the, the matter at hand, and why are they going. So you can look here. This is the same. This is a dashboard that's interfacing with the, with the platform. And we see here are the most likely customers that the ones that are most likely to, to leave for the competition. So they rank by probability, and so we, we can see that those ones have the highest probability. And there, the model will is going to tell you which variables uh, had the most influence, which were the most important in the in the decision that it took. So in that case, we can see that uh, the day since last call, it means the day since the customer last had a, a customer satisfaction call, is above two, 436, more than one year, and it seems to be to affect really negatively. Uh, the, the customer satisfaction. And we can see this variable often comes up quite, quite often. The, um, in that case, the customer didn't have a promotion for more, for more than a year also, and it seems to be pretty important uh, the, in, in, in his decision to leave, the, to leave the contract. And we can see that the, the, the platform generates a small report where we can see the probability as well as the the main reason and possibly the, the, the best actions to take to prevent this customer from leaving. Okay, so here we have a, just a slide to summarize. What is the slide like here? So here, so yeah, the conclusion here is with different tools, the goal is to accelerate, the accelerate the time to, to, to action, the time to de decision. So you need to spend less time to prepare your data. You need to spend less time to do uh, predictive analytics, okay, with, on, on big data, on Hadoop platform. So with these different tools, so three factor for data preparation, for unstructured data, log file, any kind of data, any size of data, with three factor you prepare it, and after with provi provision you can automatically create a predictive model. Okay, so the goal is not to wait six months to do a churn analysis or a model, and to quickly do that, and to do that with people who know the data. This is very important. If I speak about data preparation, in general, it's the job of IT. IT do that, but IT don't know the business, doesn't know the business. So business data, data analyst, business analyst, they must, they need the hand, they need to do that by themselves, okay? And the same for prevision. It's okay, so for prevision, also the goal is to automatically do that. You can have some data scientists fine tune some model, etc. but if for a chunk model, you can do that automatically with a different solution quickly in a more a agile way, etc. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, any question or we are, we are some booths here. Okay. Thank you very much.